Who do you think is going to win this World Cup? Brazil's young team, Croatia? Which has slim chances. Or Messiah's Argentina? It's arguably going to be one of the most decorated and competed for World Cups in history, but you'd be surprised how little you know about them. Keep watching until the conclusion of this video since there are some fascinating facts about several footballing nations. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, yeah, if you're new here, you know, standard YouTube affair, consider giving this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification bells, get updated with all of our stuff that we post, and yeah, thanks, and let's get started. FIFA hosts the competition every four years. 32 national teams participate in 64 games over a month to determine who's the best soccer team in the world. One of the most important sporting events ever was the Cup. Because of its standing and widespread presence, the competition is filled with tension and excitement for both players and spectators. World Cup stories, along with the myriad of related records and statistics, take up the majority of headlines throughout the month leading up to the legendary tournament. Content is abundant in a world where the internet's taken control. As a result, many content producers compete for a small market share. It can be super impossible to stand out from the competition and to specialize in your service, unless, you know, it's the biggest sporting event in the world, in which case, you are going to continue to be the most viewed event. <laughs> Every World Cup tends to surpass the previous record for the most viewers. It's anticipated that more than 3.5 billion people are going to watch the Russian-hosted edition in 2018. The competition is undoubtedly the most coveted trophy in sports history, and many athletes indeed spend their entire lives honing their craft in hopes that one day they can perform for a global audience. However, some coaches and team managers have taken it a little step further and forbade any sexual activity while the competition occurs. It's been reported that coaches of teams recognized for their outstanding success in the competition forbade their players from having sex. These nations include Chile, Mexico, Spain, Germany, and also Spain. <laughs> Some nations are somewhat tolerant and prohibit their athletes from performing acrobatics while having sex. Brazil is in a, basically a prime example of the latter type of nation. Every player, coach, supporter, and nation wants to possess the most prized trophy in history. Each player is going to compete for the trophy and possibly a photo opportunity if their team wins the championship. You might be surprised to learn that victors also receive a sizable sum of money in addition to the coveted gold award. The victorious team receives the trophy and a $38 million cash incentive. Not to be overlooked are the runners-up who receive $28 million, second place finishers receive $24 million. Other prizes include $8 million for a group stage play, $12 million for a round of 16 plays, $16 million for a quarterfinal play, and $22 million for the third runners-up. FIFA estimates that it spent $400 million on incentives and cash prizes for competing teams at the 2018 World Cup held in Russia. The World Cup causes pregnancies. It sounds ridiculous, right? Uh, wrong, actually, despite how unbelievable it kind of appears. It's very, very true. Nine months after hosting the Cup in 2006, Germany, it became clear that births had dramatically increased. You might be speculating that there's an additional force at work here, or that it was merely a coincidence. However, keep in mind that population and death rates are very carefully tracked. You might think that the number is excessively low, but when all other things are held equal, birth rates in Germany typically don't vary more than 0.7%. The birth rate phenomenon explains that it's thought to be a festive occasion where people let loose and enjoy themselves. People probably feel more pressure to let loose because part of the enjoyment involves drinking more. Women often release hormones that makes getting pregnant easier because of joy and happiness. As was already stated, the World Cup is a time of great excitement and celebration. At any given time, alcohol is regarded as one of the most popular drinks in the world. However, football fans are likely to enjoy a cool one or two when their teams are playing. Over 3 million beer bottles are thought to have been sold at the 2010 event held in South Africa. That's, that's a lot more than 750,000 liters. On the plus side though, around 390,500 hot dogs were sold in the same region, roughly the same time. So, perhaps no severe hangovers prevented spectators from enjoying the games. 
In terms of the tournament, the 2018 edition was absolutely one of the best. Great teams like Spain, Portugal, and Germany were eliminated early in the campaign. However, some less well-known teams made a name for themselves and will always be recognized in the World Cup annals. With their tough ability to recover from multiple early losses, Croatia is one such squad that went from being the underdog to becoming one of the greatest and most terrifying teams in the competition. Croatia advanced to the finals and, despite losing to France 4-2, fought hard to the very, very end. They were guaranteed bonuses totaling more than $28 million because they participated in the final. The Croats, nevertheless, chose to donate all the tournament proceeds to the charity. Two teams have won almost 50% of all the tournaments. Yet together, Brazil and Italy have won nine World Cups. Of the 19 tournaments staged, one of these two teams had won 47% of them. Brazil has the record for the most titles with five victories, from 1958 to 2002. Brazil's participated in every World Cup since the tournament start in the 30s. Italy is the second most successful nation, having won four titles. Their triumphs span the years 1934 through 2006. With three victories, Germany comes in third. Argentina and Uruguay are next, each with two victories. And together, those five clubs have 15 victories. This means that only five of the 195 nations that the U.S. government recognizes as autonomous have won more than 79% of World Cup competitions. Red and yellow cards were initially used at the 1970 World Cup in Mexico, but nobody was ever dismissed until Chile's Carlos Caselli was shown a red card in the 67th minute against West Germany in 1974. In 1930, Placido Galindo became the first player to never be dismissed from a World Cup match. Although referees had their modern-day magic trump cards back then, 28 red cards were issued in a single tournament in 2006, with this particular one being the most famous and inspiring a billion viral gifts. In addition, 345 yellow cards were issued that season. That's 5.39 per game. You'd expect both sides to be extremely aware during a match, especially in the early goings-on. But that actually wasn't the case when Turkey and South Korea faced off. This occurred at the World Cup held two years after the turn of the millennium. With a goal time of just 11 seconds, Turkish player Hakan Sukur now owns the record. Yep, he already had scored a goal after 11 seconds into a match. Turkey defeated South Korea 3-2 thanks to the goal, placing second in the competition. No team wants to have one of its players receive a red card and to be removed from the game. Nobody wants to be that player, and that leaves their team with a handicap. You know, a man down. Some players are plain weird, though. They forget the rules, or they just act rudely. The fastest red card to be given out belongs to defender Jose Batista, based in Uruguay. After only 56 seconds of play, the referee gave the defender a booking. Even yet, Uruguay maintained control, and the match ended in a scoreless tie. In a competition like the World Cup, scoring one goal is an accomplishment in and of itself. A player's name is sung and it enters history every time they score a goal. However, some players are exceptional and they've surpassed all of the benchmarks. Such players include Germany's Miroslav Klose and Ronaldo of Brazil. They've broken the mold, honestly, by scoring the most goals. They each have a total of 15 goals. That is actually tied. According to World Cup facts, India was eligible to compete in the 1950 World Cup Finals, but they chose not to participate. Why on earth would they forfeit a desired berth in the biggest sporting event on the planet? That's because they were prohibited from playing barefoot, which was how the team had practiced up until that moment. And there you have it, all the fascinating and oddball facts about football from 1930 to 2018. You can only anticipate greater drama in upcoming competitions due to the growth in theatrics and movements and skills and so much more. But, yep, we've come to the end of the video, so do share your views in the comment section below. Make sure to like and share the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, enable notification bells and buttons and whistles or whatever so you don't miss any videos in the future. Until next time, later. I said later. I kind of slurred it, I realized. Anyway, <laughs> bye.